are you excited? Katie and Peter have been absent from our screens for over a year, but now they're back. I just want to get the nip out and take it. Married for 18 months, two beautiful children are now living in a £3 million Sussex mansion. They've got it all. But for Katie and Peter, having it all isn't enough. That says Casey Price by me. For the next six months, we've got unparalleled access to their lives. Good morning, Mr. Andre. Will family life continue to be everything they dreamed it would? I've been called greedy, I've been called selfish on my birthday. Beautiful. Can their marriage cope under the media spotlight? Isn't that fucking cheeky? And there's nothing you could do about it. What new chaos will the arrival of baby number three bring? Asshole liquor. Hey, can you not swear in front of Junior? And can they realise their dreams to conquer the world? Sit back and watch the journey. Bloody windy on here. On Katie and Peter, the next chapter. On tonight's Katie and Peter, the next chapter. Oh, God, please help me. Oh, God. Pete talks for the first time about the breakdown which almost drove him to suicide. I ended up spending three weeks in a, what, two and a in uh, one of the most notorious psychiatric wards in New York. Katie suffers at the hands of the press. Isn't that fucking cheeky? And there's nothing you could do about it, can you, in this country? And puts mate Kerry Katona on the spot about her alleged drug taking. Why do people still think I'm taking drugs? No, this is to clear it up. Don't you dare make out my breath is bad. Don't you dare, because I'm drinking a protein shake. It's February 2007, and life is slowly starting to get back to normal for Katie and Peter. I do love you, baby. On New Year's Eve, Katie's five-year-old son, Harvey, suffered third-degree burns when he scalded himself in the bath. You don't prove, you? Oh, you've been blowing up. With his condition improving, he's been allowed out of hospital to get better at home, but is still undergoing treatment. Love you, Harvey. Love you, Mum. Katie and Peter's younger son, Junior, is also back home after spending January in Cyprus with his grandparents. Now the family's reunited, Pete hopes the year will get better from here on in. January's been the most strange and probably hard-hitting month of the last 12 months. It's definitely going to be the hardest month of this year, I hope, because with Harvey in hospital, with Junior being away, it's been tough. But everything seems to kind of be changing and moving and going in the right direction. It's the 2nd of February, five months since Katie and Peter moved into their Sussex mansion, and they're about to tackle a long overdue makeover. Two of the five downstairs reception rooms are the first thing on their list. Me and Katie are on a bit of a competition here. She's going to do one room and I'm going to do the other room. Without question, hands down, the room I'm dealing with is, going to, is just going to blow everyone away. Her room's all right. It's OK. It's nice, you know, a bit of paint. Furniture. We're talking cinema. The quality of picture will be a brilliant optimizer. Having chosen the bigger of the two rooms, Pete's decided to go all out with a huge cinema screen and all singing sound system. So what you need to do is say, when this room comes together, mm. where would I most like to enjoy the movie? Probably here. So you're looking at really 17, 18 feet. So the nine foot screen that we mentioned in the quotation is absolutely spot Let's on. Let's go ten foot. But that's absolutely fine. If you want what 10 about foot, 11 feet? Then you're up here, 22 feet. Yeah, but that 11 foot screen would make a big difference from the 9, wouldn't it? Yes. I want it to rumble in here. Like, I want that subwoofer to just, you know, I really want to hear it. I, mean, I think it's going to be great. Do we, ha we don't have to soundproof it at all, do we? No, we haven't got any neighbours to. No. I mean, it, it's only We've got kids, but... Kids, but for Pete, this is the realisation of a dream he's had since he was a teenager. I mean, could you imagine re-watching Scarface in here? 
In, now, I've never seen Scarface in the cinema. I've never seen half the movies I've loved. Now I'm going to get to watch them in the cinema in my own home on digital. Forget yeah. it. I think this is going to be amazing. No, no, not when we're watching Scarface. There's no popcorn. There's no movements. And you guys to be fucking quiet over here. Come on. Sorry, I'm just looking at the other guys. This is a new speaker. The total cost of Pete's room is going to set him back tens of thousands of pounds. I, I'm, I'm really getting excited. Like said, we find it some picture out on there. Across town, Kate is on the lookout for style, class and sophistication. Let's see what we're buying today. She's gone down to her local chain sofa store to see if she can pick up some bargain chic. Please, have a look round if you want and just... Uh... To help her, Katie's brought along friend and PA Nicola for some style advice. Yeah, that's nice. That's this is nice. It's quite a new modern one. It's very, very, it's Italian manufacturing, very, very good hide. I like that, but that looks too small. And that's very comfortable. You do want they a bit decline? More traditional? No, but it's a very okay. comfortable sofa. Oh, yeah. That's oh, it. now. Oh, that's, that's it. nice. And how comfy is that? That's good. Oh, no, that's that it. Unlike Pete's extravagant cinema, Katie's going for a more formal reception room. God, it's quite hard to know which one to pick. That's nice. Look, it's the cheapest one. Trust me to pick out. I haven't got expensive taste in my furniture. <laughs> no, I'm sure Have I? <laughs> Don't you like red? Yeah. Red and white? Maybe someone at home go no. <laughs> I could get a three-seater and two two-seats. What do you reckon? Yeah. What deal could you do on that for me? Um, I'd have to speak to a boss in there. Katie's looking for a totally coordinated room, and the store's display has given her some inspiration. Do you like them pictures up there as well, or not really? Yeah, I see, I quite like them. I do. So I'll have that light there, on that one, that one there, and then that tall and that short one in the other corner. So you're only going to have one of these? One in that corner, and then on the wall, them three... Pictures okay. above the fireplace. Okay. Well, it matches yeah. in well. Yeah. yeah, for definite. Do you reckon? Yeah, nice. Okay, I might get that now then. Do you want to work it out? Yeah, no problem. Please. Just, just and is it worth getting any of these? Um. Or what IKEA do them cheaper? Oh. <laughs> I'm sure not as, not, not as nice, obviously. So. Um, do you like well, my cheek? We can do 20% off. Like, yeah, it's good. Brilliant. You don't have to waste thousands of pounds just for a designer of sofa when they all look the same. Mix the accessories, you mix and match really expensive with, like the clothes, you can get a really cheap dress but put a really expensive belt, expensive shoes in a bag and that's the way I do things in the house. So it'll be £2,900 on your card. Thank you. And uh, does this cushion come with it? Um, it could do for you. No, if not, can I buy them? <laughs> okay, no problem. Actually, no, I won't because they're not £45. <laughs> I can find a better bargain than that. Later, back home, Pete's excitement over his movie room has gone into overdrive. A huge mail order of DVDs has arrived. Hugo! Oh my god, these dogs are unbearable. I'm gonna stink. I'm gonna go. You're gonna laugh at this. Back to the Future, the whole trilogy. Now, the reason why is because I've seen these. They're my favourite movies. The reason why she thinks I'm mad is because it's like. Hang on a second. What is that in French? Retour vers le futur. It better not be, I swear. Fates l'expérience dans la trilogie à complète. What? What the hell is that? Now this looks good, whatever this is. Do I get a kiss for this? We've seen that. What is it? The World Trade Center. No, we haven't. And, and, that's what? Peace de Senor Francais Incluse? Listen, I'm struggling with this. I've had two of them that are in French and I'm not happy What's about this. What's in French? Which well, I one? don't know. Commentaire exclusif de resclutir Well, you should have looked at that for the mixed sides of that board in it. Yeah, but hang on, there's also English writing. Well, hey, so good three. choice. And so it's in three. German. What? Oh. <laughs> now, I've seen two of these, but I, I don't think I've seen this one, but good choice. The beginning. Oh, no, this is the beginning. Do you yeah, understand I've what this seen is? That one. Can I explain it to you? Can we watch it tonight? Yeah. Look, look at this, right? 
I'm going to show this to you. Wait. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, but this is when he was a kid. Yeah. What? Massacre a la tronche non oh, se le like. commencement? They'll have to go back. Sounds like... El Anes de Pobet Qua Illusion. Let me try. Oh, no. Hang on a second. They're computer games. They're not. Can you just wipe... <laughs> I've bought you so many movies that are your choice. Two. Listen, New listen, French. listen, 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 listen. Oh, the young ones. Oh, God. Series one. They're old. Coming up, Katie interviews Kerry Katona about her alleged drug use. Yeah, I went out a big cold binge. Her broken family relationships. I said it's not for it. No. Sorry, I stood by that woman all my life. And the impending birth of her third child. If anything is wrong this baby, I will blame my mother. Yeah. I'll blame the national press. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Christian. Katie has a deal with OK magazine. Later, she'll be interviewing Kerry Katona. First, her editor has some questions from readers of her Agony Aunt column. Is it stupid not to want a partner? I have a great social life and I'm not even missing sex. Is there something wrong with me? No, but she must be a lesbian. <laughs> if not, say, you know, the, the more you go without having sex, the less you want it anyway. That's just a fact. What's the longest time you've ever not had sex? An hour. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. The second one is, I am 17 and still feel like a little girl. I'm interested in men, but I don't want to have sex yet. Is that so bad? I think your attitude is brilliant. I, the longer you can keep your legs closed, the better. Because there's not many <laughs> angels about these days. Even at school, I was frigid. And I wouldn't really? even kiss a guy. I was petrified. I made, made myself ill because I thought I'd do it wrong. Um, and was I that waited until I was legal because my mum said, don't you dare have it before. <laughs> so, uh, so I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I look forward to it. Alright, then see you. Bye. Right, bye. Bye. Good boy, <laughs> Harvey. At home, Harvey's just returned from his hospital checkup with Katie's mum, Amy. Good walking, Harvey. Good boy. These are the first real steps he's taken since he burnt himself a month ago. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Nearly there. Well I'm done. proud of you. <laughs> Does Harvey want to lie down? Nearly there, look. I hope you haven't lifted him, Amy, today. But he has to do it. It's like you've got to be cruel cool to be kind. Exactly. Well done. Yeah. On the right, go on then, back you go. Yay! Now sit up a bit. The conditions Harvey was born with means his body takes a long time to repair itself. Amy's determined to do all she can to get him better. At the moment, he's not healing as well as he should do. So he's increased these medicines, and I'm thinking, well, <coughs> increase these medicines, you get the circulation going, maybe it might help more. <coughs> so that's why I think he's got to do it. And next week, when it's half term, I'm going to make sure that... I Every day we take him out with maybe different surroundings in the fresh air to try and motivate him to sort of take part more in things and I'm hoping that will stimulate him and help the leg, the circulation. With Amy at home holding the fort, Pete takes on today's domestic duties. Hey, Tess guys, every little helps, dude. <laughs> I just realised how stupid I am. I wanted to wear a cap so that I don't get noticed and I've got a bloke following me with a camera. So that's pretty stupid, isn't it? Forget it. I'm not wearing one. I don't care. Sorry, mate. I don't mind once in a while being the domestic man. So, hey, why not? We've all got to chip in. You are right, darling? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Did you do it twice, I'm sorry. Who to? Mary. Mary? No, not at all. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I absolutely love people. I love people. I love talking to people. I love meeting people. I think it's great. Can I have a picture with you? If you like. Thank you. Liam, can you take a picture? Yeah. Look, it'd be well chaff. <laughs> hey, it's not that good. You done it? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks nice so to much. meet you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>
Yeah, I do love I do love a bit of shopping. Hello. Hello, lovely. It's lovely as you do on the telly. Oh, are you just saying that because no, camera's on? No, well, thank you. I think one of the differences between me and Kate in shopping is Kate doesn't want to talk to anybody. She wants to get in, she wants to keep her head down. Mind you, she's never inconspicuous. She reckons that she won't be recognised. You can notice her a mile away. Um, hello. I mean, forget even. Anyway, difference is, she doesn't want to meet anyone, she doesn't want to talk to anyone. Me, I love everyone, I don't care, I think it's great. That's healthy. So you go. <laughs> Hello there, Lynn. Pete's errands may take longer than the average person, but they're always a good PR exercise. Actually, yeah, they're OK, they're getting there, thanks a lot. Katie's made it to London for her Kerry Katona interview. This would be it. Oh, hi, mate. How are you? She would be so hyperactive. And if she's not, she's then she's reading. down. Kerry's now seven months pregnant and has recently faced tough criticism over her lifestyle. Katie wants to do some straight talking and get some honest answers. Than you do in life. Do you know that? <laughs> How are you? Like a touch. You know, you do look bigger in pictures. Where's yours? It is what wonderful. What the fuck? Does she look bigger in pictures? What's that? It's huge for me. When are you? You do? look like you swallowed a grape. <laughs> look at that. It's brilliant. I love that sage. When you sit move, in it, I feel like shit. Yeah. I can't stop peeing uh, myself. Yeah. I just <laughs> <is not. laughs> I talk some shit down there. Yeah. Kerry's here with her fiance, taxi driver Mark, who she'll be marrying in two weeks' time. I bet you're so excited, are you? Yeah. 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 You can't blame anything. I have no excuse. I'm not doing anything. But I, have I know, but Paul, it's, it's so uncomfortable. I can't wait, we do the fucking pregnancy shit. Stand up! Look, oh, it's the Stand way. up a minute! It's the way. What? <laughs> yes! Do you have a laugh? It's going to look like fucking Lola Nardi. Can't believe we're doing a pregnancy shoot with that stick. I'm just taking it all in. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, I'm just taking it all in. Yeah, I'm just taking it all in. Yeah, I'm just taking it all in. The carry bar, I'm just taking it all in. With Kerry in such good spirits, Katie decides to do the photo shoot first, interview second. <laughs> Once all the shots are completed, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, yeah. Katie's armed and ready with her list of interview questions, but is easing Kerry in slowly. Congratulations on the baby. Don't worry, this isn't my new job, by the way, but we thought it'd be a different angle. How far gone are you now? It's got eight weeks to go, and I can't wait to get it all out. And is it true you're having a girl? I am having a little girl. When you're pregnant, women tend to get more rounded up. Oh, well, yes. no, this one already. <laughs> Has your sex life been adventurous during yes. your pregnancy? Are you more, more active? So, yeah. Have you been more experimental? I've done more, I've done more sexual experimental things with this pregnancy. Well, what's happened to me then? <laughs> you know, I have done things I've never done before. No. Yeah. Sit with this pregnancy. Really? Yeah. Really? Do you want to say? No. <laughs> I don't want to say. With Kerry seemingly relaxed, Katie decides it's time to crank up the interview. Do you still speak to your mum? No, I have nothing to do with her. I don't even want to talk about her. What if she f found out and said she was really nope. sorry? Really sorry you don't do that to your own. Yeah. What, for money? After everything I've done for her? No. Sorry, I stood by that woman all my life. Why she chose men over me, put me in care. Exactly. No. And if you get Kerry's book, everyone... No. Have you, you read it? No, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> You get Kerry's book. Shall I ask you these questions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Katie. <laughs> what are you like? 
Right, actually, I wanted this question to be asked, and I'll tell you why. When your baby is born, yeah. if it has an illness or disability, are you worried that people will accuse you of taking drugs during your pregnancy? You know what? I will Hold on, no, why? why? As people blamed my parting for Harvey's problems. So that is why I wanted to ask that. You know what pisses me off? If anything is wrong with this baby, I will blame my mother, yeah. I will blame the national press, and I will blame all the people that are speculating and put pressure on my relationship with Mark and why yeah. I'm pregnant. That is why I will blame it on, and I'll swear that down now. I've took no drugs, I don't leave my house, I do not drink. No, don't worry. <laughs> Keep the tears in, girl. Yeah. Actually, no, this is good therapy. <laughs> Imagine how I felt when they blamed my parting for Harvey's illness. That's why I asked that question, how will no. you retaliate back? No. No. I'm not going to apologise <coughs> for the, the way I repaired myself when me and Brian broke up. I was a broken but woman. Yeah, I'm not apologising for that. You know, I don't, you know, I've done it, I don't, I, you know, it's not the... Biggest thing that I don't, yeah, I went out on a big cold binge and got completely wrecked and off me and I admit that and I've held my hands up to it. And I, I think went it's to good rehab that you admitted it. And I went to rehab and I got myself started, but it wasn't just, I never went yeah, because yeah. of the coke addict. You went because all the other I went for depression. Right, that answers that. Actually, Why I, do people still think I'm taking drugs? No, this is to clear it up. This is, this is, this is, this no, is, I'm going to ask this. Why do people think I'm so, I have bipolar. What one's that? Bipolar? Yeah. What's that? It's a mental illness. Oh, snap. I've got the post-natal depression <laughs> one. Bipolar is really hard to explain unless you know. You have to read up on it. Like, what well, makes you talk about blah, 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 and then you go dead slow? It's like, I can't, it's dead weird to explain it. It's actually like being high. Right. People will sometimes think you're on drugs. But that's good you've it's explained it so people know, you know. People with Kerry's side of the story out there, there is one thing she's happy to admit. With three months since her last G&T, she can't wait to have a drink. Wait, so this baby's born. I'm going to go out and get absolutely fucking pissed. And I don't give a <laughs> shit what anybody says. Oh, look, there's all loads of press and I come out throwing up with me tits hanging out with Brian and going, look at this mother of the fucking year. <laughs> yeah. And are you still going to be my friend after this? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think... That is bloody good from oh, us. Oh, and that's brilliant. And I think well, I all think you know people out there is going to be asking me questions. <laughs> Leave <laughs> Kerry alone. Yes. Who's that? Ow. Who's that? You look Ow. gorgeous. Hello. You smell nice. What's that? Eternity. Pink one. <laughs>